name is Emerson from the Diné Nation. That's the Navajo Nation. Come from the southwest of the United States. Moved out here to California as a teenager. I'm an artist, I draw, I write, I tag, I spray. And one day I just made my own t-shirt just to represent being native out here in the city, in the urban life. So I started making my own native t-shirts. I wanted to represent to the fullest being native, being indigenous, let everybody know we're still here. People started liking them and wanted to know where they got them, where I got them from. And sometimes I go further to other reservations in different states such as Arizona, Colorado, Nevada, South Dakota, North Dakota. So these shirts, they've been out to the front lines as well, such as Dakota Access Pipeline, No Line 3 Pipeline. One day we gotta come back as one tribe. That's what Native Incorporated, Native Inc. stands for. We all gotta come back. And all the tribes from Alaska, Canada, in the US, Mexico, and South America. We're all one family. And we gotta realize that protecting Mother Earth, Father Sky, and the Lady of the Water, protecting the animals, the land has to be preserved. Not just for us, but for the ones who are not born yet. Because we were given that chance by our ancestors. They died for us to keep our culture, our heritage, our language, our braids. Such as Geronimo, Chief Joseph, Chief Red Cloud, Sitting Bull, Crazy Horse. All of them gave their lives for us to still live that indigenous way, that native way. And we must recognize that. So why do we gotta change up and pretend that we're white people? We're not. Yeah, we may have to learn the education and go to work, but that doesn't mean we must forget who we are. Does it mean that we must change and get brainwashed? Nah, we still gotta be spiritually connected with our ancestors.